we got a call uh, for service involving a road rage incident. Had allegedly involved a firearm. From that incident, two individuals were arrested. A loaded semi-automatic firearm was seized, as well as suspected fentanyl and cocaine. My name's Evan Shipp. I'm a fourth year criminology and criminal justice student at Carleton University. So Evan, this award that you got, can you tell me a bit about it? Absolutely. Uh, the, the award is a uh, commendation or recognition from the chief of police, um, recognizing professionalism, courage, and exemplary dedication in the policing community. So catch me up here. You're a Carleton student who's also working for Brantford Police, correct? Yes, it is, yeah. Um, my education here at Carleton helped me uh, land the summer job at the uh, Brantford Police Service as a summer park patroller. As uh, just on a foundation level, it's a requirement to join the program for the summer. But additionally, I find it's, it's, it's helped me in articulating my notes in terms of things I do there, um, recording events that I was involved in, essential information, and articulating my reasons for why I do certain things. But additionally, I, I do felt it helped me uh, prepare for even my interview to, to get the job two summers ago. Um, I felt it was a, a big help in uh, actually acquiring the job itself. You know, Evan, it's always good to hear when our education is benefiting us outside the classroom. But it wasn't meant to prepare you for that evening in August. Can you tell us what happened and how you handled it? On August 23rd, I was doing a ride along with Sergeant Sawkins. We got a call uh, for service involving a road rage incident that had allegedly involved a firearm. We started heading towards where we believed the uh, suspect to be. And um, upon arrival, we found the suspect out of the car. Sergeant Sawkins bailed out of the cruiser to engage the individual while I stayed in the cruiser and communicated with dispatch and other units that were coming our way. While I stayed in the car doing that, Sergeant Sawkins continued to attempt to get the individual to exit the vehicle. He was successful, and once he got the individual out of the vehicle, a physical fight uh, started while Sergeant Sawkins was attempting to arrest him. At that point, I felt that I could assist Sergeant Sawkins in his arrest, so I exited the cruiser and joined him in arresting the suspect. I grabbed his left wrist, enabling Sergeant Sawkins to handcuff the individual. From that incident, two individuals were arrested. A loaded semi-automatic firearm was seized, as well as suspected fentanyl and cocaine. Well, Evan, uh, you should know that Sergeant Sawkins said that you showed initiative and good judgment. In the heat of the moment, how were you so composed? Well, thank you, first of all, for, for that. Um, my composure and what was going through my mind at that time, um, I was trying to stay professional as this was a high risk call that was coming in. It was not something that I had use of force options on me. I didn't have anything on my belt that could help me with the firearm situation, but I was going to be in that situation as we were attending the call. So I decided to immediately start planning as to how I could assist Sergeant Sawkins and what he needs to do. That's why I didn't exit the vehicle immediately. I have nothing to help that situation if there is a firearm involved but I helped another way that I knew I could, which was focusing on communicating to other team members, dispatch, anyone else that needs to hear, while Sergeant Sawkins dealt directly with the threat. Um, in terms of, um, thank you, by the way, for the bravery that you are, uh, you're talking about, it mainly comes from a trust in the people that I work with and the training that I received at the Brantford Police Service. Um, in the summers, I work with these people every other day. Um, we tackle various calls together all the time, and I know that if I do my job and I stick to my training, they'll do the same and we'll get the job done. Um, Evan, I just have one more question for you. Uh, I know this is a little bit off script, but uh, you come from a police family background. 
Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how your family has played a role in your life? Absolutely. My family has played a huge role in my life. They've been supportive of me from, uh, from day one, honestly. Um, my mom, my dad, my brother, extended family, everyone. Um, I do have policing in the family. It was, I can't say it was my parents' first choice as obviously they want, they don't want to see me in dangerous situations. But at this point in where I'm pursuing with my career and like where I'm going with it right now, um, they've realized that I'm not switching my, uh, changing my mind at all. And they're uh, behind me 100%. Um, they've always been supportive of me and they continue to support me uh, today in my, my uh, future career aspirations.